What is up, YouTube? It's Nerdvana86 here. And, uh, somewhat a special episode today, I suppose. I'm just kind of want to do like a channel update. It's officially, I just got a notice on my phone yesterday about a post I made a, a year ago. And that's when I first started doing YouTube, was a Goodwill find that I had at, uh, my local Goodwill here shortly after I moved down to Idaho. So, if you're new to the channel, check out that first video of mine. That was a year ago. It's pretty short, just shows me finding the games. It's one of, it was actually some live footage at the Goodwill. I try to do that when I can, but I'm with my daughter a lot. And of course with Corona lately, I won't take my daughter to the thrift store anymore. But, uh, yeah, I just kind of want to say thanks to everybody that does watch and has tuned in to any videos of mine. I just do this for fun, and I'm going to continue to do it because even though my user or my subscriber base is pretty small, I think I'm at 39 now, I've been, I've had three new ones in the last few days. So thanks to everybody again that's watching and just joining. I'm going to continue to do these, like I said. A lot of it's just for me to uh, kind of document my finds and everything. So it's really cool for me to get to do these. And I'm going to try and step up my game over this next year as far as editing goes and get, you know, maybe make an intro and all that stuff. And I think the $10 game challenge that Retro Rick does, and I can't remember off the top of my head right now, a few other people I think have done it. But Retro Rick is the one currently doing it, and it's awesome. And I'm going to give it a go next week on June 16th. My main thrift store that was the source of all my good stuff, they've been closed for a little over three months now, and they're going to open back up that day. So I'm going to take a fresh $10 bill, two $5 bills, whatever, and I'm going to start the $10 game challenge next week. So hopefully... I'll get some more people tuning in and it'll be an awesome ride because I have found some pretty cool stuff. Um, I'll just share like Def Jam. I kind of I tried to make this video a little more exciting. I got everything like set up in here and I'm running out of space. As I'm sure most collectors know, um, space just it's I'm in a closet for one because that's what I got to work with. But it, yeah, I'm starting to kind of fill up my space. So I don't know where I will put the $10 game challenge stuff exactly. I'll probably clear a spot in my garage and make something happen there. But uh, yeah, I'm excited. I'm looking forward to it. I've found some pretty valuable games here in this town in the year, a little over a year that I've been here. So I'm looking forward to see what's going to happen, and I hope everybody that tunes in enjoys it. And uh, thanks again for watching, and look forward to seeing you all around. And this community is awesome. So, you know, everybody that tunes in, I really appreciate it once again, and love watching all y'all's videos out there. So, peace out. Good luck. On to the next one. Later. I had to bust it out. Even the color is not great on my TV, but it still looks pretty dope. But my small collection of 32X games so far. Right. I got this a little less than a year ago. Came with the Star Wars and the Cosmic Carnage and the box. And I kept everything that came with all these baggies, this one little piece of paperwork and the clips, the um, extender for if you have the Model 2, <clears throat> and then the system itself, which I got. I got an excellent deal on it. One of my past videos, I traded up and ended up getting this complete in box 32X for free. And there's my fourth game I just traded up for today. I gave the guy a really good deal. He had a better value than me in the trade, but uh, you don't see 32X games every day, so 
I figured it was worth it to add this to my collection. The four games I traded in were, again, free for me because I had a deal and traded up, so. Got Mother Base, 2,000 Zaxons for free today. Got my 32X busted out, which means at this point, I'm gonna have to make that video of my playthrough of Doom. So I got that from one of my buddies that I met on YouTube, James Williams, James Video Game Williams, and uh, yeah. I need to play through it. Doom is something I haven't played in probably about 20 years, and I never have played through the game on 32X. I only ever played the uh, PC version, so it would be awesome to play that. I might one day decide to go for the 32X set since it's really small, just for fun. But yeah. Wanna play some games? Making a video. Gold is in that bag. What is up, YouTube? Nerdvana86 here. Uh, just got this package from. This is a Shop Goodwill online order, which I've been having some luck with recently over the last couple months. It takes a lot of patience and a lot, uh, some good timing to check, but um. I paid $25.93 for this, shipped, and I mainly got it for like these two games here that I've been wanting to try, and the rest is just kind of filler. It's pretty cool, MLB 15's a steel book. That's kind of neat. Um, but yeah, anyways, I just went through and checked this all out on price charting, and this was a surprise, P uh, Pro Evolution Soccer 15 and Gran Turismo Sport are both sealed still. Sounds like that game's loose in its case. I'll have to look up one of those videos. I've heard there's videos that show you how to get it back in, but um, yeah, I just went through everything on price charting and valued it all up here. And I again, I paid $25.93. It looks like there's about $85 in value here, give or take a little bit. I mean, I even went the low end on everything. Only put in $3 for this Madden because the case is just torn up. But everything else is in really good shape. And I didn't account for anything for Disney Infinity because I don't know if these are worth anything. And I mainly bought this for, I figured, kind of trade bait. I'm going to put the majority of this up on Marketplace, I think, and just see if anybody wants to trade games. Probably going to keep these three. My kids will probably want to play Lego. So I should be able to keep these three. And then if I can figure out how to get the disc back in here, I should, uh, Gran Turismo, sealed, goes for about 18 bucks. So I should be able to get most of my money back with that. And then potentially make a cool trade out of all this. And keep these games for about 10 bucks, which Far Cry 5 is actually about a $15 game too, so not a bad deal. Not bad at all. Later, everyone. Now I'm back, everybody. I'm just uh, getting ready, packaging up some sales here. Finally got this one sold. It was $7 plus shipping, but I only paid a buck for it at the Goodwill sale a few weeks ago. I got, I think it was 14 plus shipping for this. And it was a dollar. It was a dollar ninety nine at Goodwill. I got this right before the pandemic and everything. I got thirty seven plus shipping for this expansion pack, which was free to me at this point. I already sold everything else from that bundle and profited already. I got twenty dollars plus shipping for this little Storm Shadow from nineteen eighty eight. I found him at the Goodwill bins in Vancouver, Washington, a couple years back, probably. So, uh, paid by weight. I'd imagine he was less than a nickel. And then, uh, Tony Hawk's Pro Skater for Nintendo 64. I got this in the trade I made yesterday. 
And this sold for 20 plus shipping already. Madden 08 GameCube. Last GameCube game ever made from what I've researched. I found this at Goodwill probably almost a year ago for, I want to say it was $3.99. But I can't remember exactly. Anyways, it just sold for 20 plus shipping. So that's a cool one to get rid of. And then this little guy I found a while back uh, for 50 cents. Hello neighbor. I got uh, 10 plus shipping for him. So not bad. Lots of profit to be made there. Getting everything packed up. And this is that PS2 I got for free yesterday. Took the hard drive off the back to sell separately for a maximum profit. All these games have been... Pretty sure these were all given to me for free except for Jack 2. I got that at Goodwill for a dollar. And then the controller was free, hookups, everything else was free. And I got that on Marketplace. Put it up for 75, but I'm gonna take $60 going to meet them up. So yeah, it's gonna be a good day later. Going to make another trade right now from one of my Facebook posts. I'm trading off Sonic 3D Blast. Dynamite Heady with the little torn label. Kid Chameleon and Street Fighter 2 Special Champion Edition. These top, these three games are on the Sega Genesis Mini, so I can just play them there if I want. And then I have 3D Blast for Sega Saturn complete in box, so I'd rather play that version. And I've already made a trade with the guy that wanted these. Um, he has a lot of stuff. It's where I got the NES games a couple weeks ago. Sold him all my Xbox 360s, and then I bought some games from him another time, so. I know I've got about, I'd say close to $50 value here. It's even accounting for that ripped label. I took a couple bucks off of that. And I know he has uh, some 32X games. Last time I traded, he had Zaxxon, Mother Base 2000. Just like a $25 game, so. I think honestly I'm just gonna try and get that game and then maybe another NES game or two out of it see what happens um, I don't know I mean these games here I got all of them with that large bundle I got about a year ago so made my money back and lots of profit on that bundle already so these are all basically free I'm just trying to upgrade my collection and stuff so yeah, we'll see what happens here. Later. So I got everything here at the Mustard Seeds local thrift store to me for $14.05, which, you know, I got a couple Blink-182 DVDs. I figured they might be worth more than a dollar. And then this one's like a Dragging the Lake of music video magazine. Kind of the same. I figured maybe it'd be worth more than a buck on eBay. And then all these Wii games and a Wii U game, nothing special. Clive Barker's Jericho is a PS3 game disc only and a really beat up Hollywood case but I mean and I got this VHS for my buddy that collects VHS it was only a quarter and Zuzu princess carriages and castles it's complete in there it's kind of cool so yeah nothing crazy but again I only paid paid 14.05 and just dance Disney party goes for about 20 bucks right now so make my money back and then some on just that one item and then everything else just you know if i can sell any of this for five bucks or some so then figure it's worth it so yeah pretty solid pickup and i ended up doing the trade for the i just traded the four sega games for zaxon's mother base straight across because I didn't really need them. They were free to me, and I'm just stoked to get a 32X game. And then the dude gave me a bunch of cool stickers, too. So, this Mega Man one on the bottom, old school gamer. It's pretty dope. So, yeah. Thanks for watching. That's going to wrap up my day for the most part. Peace. Just got home with today's haul. 
everything in there. And the, so the trade I made on the Sega games for this, the guy runs a sticker shop. So he gave me all these cool stickers too. I got some turtle stickers to decorate my turtle tank. And then this really cool old school gamer Mega Man one. So that's super dope. And I just got home and I had this waiting for me. I ordered this vinyl record. It's the Marvel hip hop variant covers. Liquid Swords by Jizza from the Wu-Tang Clan. And this is a phenomenal album to begin with. But then the Marvel Comics released, released all these variant hip hop covers. So once I found out they were pressing the actual vinyls and reissuing them. Just had to get it. I don't even have a record player, but I'm gonna have a, probably get one someday. Just plan to leave these sealed. I'm just gonna have them, once I have my game room, music room, gonna be displayed all along my wall. It's just awesome artwork, so. Peace.